Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, that's yeah. This is like a mahogany one mm -hmm. with the metal, the metal uh, uh, pot. And, uh, and and it's stain, stainless steel pot, stainless steel flange and bezel, mm -hmm. uh, eb ebony fingerboard and, and headstock, and it has a, a bone button, but usually I make some out of wood, but this is off a, a, an old abbot one, like, you know. Right, so, yeah. yeah. And a solid wood back, and that it's quite bright. Mahogany again, it doesn't have the bottom in, mm -hmm. but this is uh, an Abbott copy as well with the metal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the resonator. And this is... The other ones, what's got the stainless steel. Mm-hmm. And I put these nail nuts on rather than the, the screwing so you can take the resonator off a lot easier mm -hmm. and this is uh, got flame maple uh, on the resonator and of course the like as I said the wooden button and this is 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 a uh, like a mahogany veneer on, on, on the bang mm -hmm. to, to, to go with the and this is uh, got a splice neck rosewood, and it's got a rose rosewood uh, fingerboard and a rosewood head. The B is for the how. Well, like this is number mm -hmm. number six, so this is the sixth one. Right. I think yeah. this one's number. Yeah, that's number three. Right. Number mm. one and two. Uh, I've just got little bits of finishing to do. I'm doing them all, but these is. Like for the difference in um, sound, this is uh, it's got the metal, and then the the difference of with the same type of wood, but with a wooden pot. So this has got a maple maple pot, similar to the the Gibsons and and the UB2 and UB three and that they have a, a wooden pot rather than a metal mm -hmm. and uh, but it's still got the the, the flange mm -hmm. and everything and, and, and the same on back. The back yeah and it's got really high quality uh, wood mm -hmm. which mm. is uh, what they call fiddle back you know the Right. And it, it, all yeah. of these and, um, alterations help with the sound. Yes, the this is more or less like, with it being a wooden pot, it's more, uh, it's got like, more or less a, a woody round Under. tone. Rather than the yeah. thingy. Bright for wood. It is. Mm. But I'll let mm. uh, I'll let Tony play him because he's, he's a young man. He's <laughs> a builder. All oh, right. And this is is yeah. like the uh, the metal stainless steel. Yeah. Thing. The yeah, shell's like just like the, the Abbott. The, 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 yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's the Abbott. Yes, yeah, similar to that. But as I say, that it it won't tarnish you. Or you won't get the no.
bit longer. Yeah, so it's easier, like, easier to finger. Bit longer scale, yeah, which, bit longer scale. which obviously alters the sound a wee bit, but it's easier yeah. to play. Yeah. Yeah. Mahogany. Yeah. This is a mahogany one, which which is like the a deluxe model. That's just yeah. like the straightforward. Uh, Again, mahogany has a slightly different sound to the maple. Yeah. This is an Abbott copy, yeah, which is, yeah. you know, very similar to these. Yeah. The only difference is it's got little keels around the edge. Yeah. Instead of the slots. Yeah. But that was by design. And do yeah. yours, Eric, need any sort of upkeep after they, they've they been had for a while? Do you need to...? Uh, well, the, the thing is, usually the the strings, if you've got steel strings, usually mm. the frets wear, like on mandolins and such. Mm -hmm. but, but with these, uh, they've usually got either gut strings or nylon strings, and so mm -hmm. you don't have that problem. But what you mm. have to watch is is if the neck comes up with a strain so on the on the neck sometimes the heel here you have to adjust the the heel because these don't have a perch pole most of them you know the like on a banjo so they're not adjustable there's just a lot of things but usually they'll last years before you do anything yeah. like that and the maintenance on on the wood as i say this is all stainless steel so it you're not going to have any problems with blistering uh, with, with the chrome coming off so it, it'll be it'll be mm. the same in 100 yeah. years time as far as the the uh, take care of it and you've got something you can pass on to your children yeah. and your grandchildren and of course you have to keep the vellum up. yeah you have to keep that nice mm -hmm. and tight and also, uh, the the best the best vellums is usually calf skin. You can get cheaper ones like mm -hmm. goat skin, but uh, quality okay. skins will last oh, fifty years. Oh, easy, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful if they're too tight and you and you put them close to a radiator, you can split them. So, right. Or if you put them out in somewhere damp or the rain, of course uh, they go soggy. Course. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah. basically, but you it's a premium instrument, you look after it. Oh, yes, and yes, it, yeah, it'll look yeah, after you. Yeah. And and these are friction tuners, but the very the the good quality ones have got nylon bushings in them. Uh -huh. You know, whereas the, the like the old friction ones it was wearing in the back and that, but these mm. they don't have a lot of pressure to, to keep them in tune, so yeah. Yes. Yeah. And bone nuts, of course. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah. And and usually the neck here is a little bit longer here. So when you're doing your chords, you're not catching, Jeez. you're not catching these on your knuckles, where a lot of the mm -hmm. little older ukes you have you problems. Yeah. So yeah, they're, they're much easier to to, mm. to, to play. And yeah. it's, uh, they're beautiful looking instruments. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's, mm. uh, well, the wood is, it's, yeah. it, it's, it's well, it's what well seasoned it. wood, like, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The thing is with a lot of the instruments, the new, cheaper instruments, it's kiln dried wood and, and it can move on you, mm. you know. You don't yeah. want that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. 
and of course uh, Tony's he's been into ukes for years he's got lots of oh. <laughs> <laughs> lots of as well oh, yeah. and then mm, things yeah. have to be yeah. bright and easy mm. to play that's the yeah, yeah new, like new ones like Eric's are great you know